Hi and welcome. Here's Interview TV live from Berlin. It's great that you're all joining us here today live in our studio in Hall 5.2. And with us are today the founders and creators of Geo Awesomeness. And here are Alex and Mutu. Welcome here to our studio. Good morning. Thanks Hi. for having Hello. us. Yeah, great that you are here. So maybe let's start with a short introduction. Let's start briefly introduce yourself to our audience who's not already knowing you. Who are you? What are you doing actually, Alex? Uh, hello, everyone. So I'm Alex Buczkowski. I'm a founder or co-founder uh, together with Mutu of a blog called geosomeness.com that we founded uh, 11, 12. 12 years ago already. So it's been a long journey. But this is something that we actually do after hours during a day. Uh, I work in the industry, in the geospatial industry at PricewaterhouseCoopers, where I lead uh, Global Center of Excellence in Drone Technologies. Okay, Mutu, what about you? Um, first of all, thanks for having us. Um, Mutu, I work as a technology manager at the German Railways, so Deutsche Bahn. And together with Alex, I'm the co-founder of Geosomeness, uh, which is something that we've been working on for more than 12 years, as Alex mentioned. Wow. So really nice to be here. Yeah, great. And finally, we're getting to know each other. And uh, yeah, let's start. How did this collaboration that you become a media partner at Intergeo, how did that start? And what does it mean to you being here at Intergeo? Um, it's a dream come true because you have to understand when we started Geo Awesomeness, <laughs> we were students, the both of us. Okay. Um, so Intergeo was one of these massive conferences that everybody talks about. Um, so I think seven or eight years ago, we had a conversation where the question was if we want to be media partners. And fast forward to 2023, we are doing a lot. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to the next year in Stuttgart. I think there's a few more things we can be doing together. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, and what is your blog or your website? You're doing also podcasts, I, I think. Um, what is it all about? So what's your target audience? What's your main themes? What are you um, reporting about? You know, so so we, we talk about and we write about and we comment about everything geospatial, really, right? So everything that interests us, everything that is relevant to the, to the community. And you no, know, we, we are not doing it for fame. We are not doing it for, for the money. We are doing it after hours uh, for fun, mainly, uh, because you know, we want to bring the community together. And... No, together with Mutu, we were able to benefit significantly from you know, all of the network that we've built around geosomeness throughout these years. And we feel like we can you know, give back to the industry quite a lot by you know, giving this insights from the, and talking about the industry from the you know, insider perspective uh, okay. and conveying those, those messages in a simple and easy to di digest way. Wow, that sounds exciting. And here at Intergeo, you're also the hosts of a panel discussion with the very exciting um, um, title AI and Earth Observation for Sustainability, Key Trends and Opportunities. And uh, yeah, could you provide us some insights into the core themes and objectives of this session? That's one of the, let's say, the key partnership areas which we're exploring together with Intergeo this year. So I'm moderating the panel. We've got five wonderful guests. And the idea was to focus on Earth observation and see how it's transforming the industry, especially the world, for the better. So we have people from USPA, we have people from PwC, from Up42, Planet, and a startup called Tilebox. So it's a wide variety of people. It's a very diverse panel. So I'm really, really looking forward to moderating it. That's very interesting. So personally, you, what um, potentials do you see in the implementation of AI, artificial intelligence, in products and services, because we can also see it here at Intergeo. So AI is taking over into GIS and the systems. No, so uh, I, I would say that without geospatial technologies, there is no way to monitor you know, all of those ESG environmental metrics. This is really primary way that you can see the air from, you know, from, from the bigger perspective, from the, from the bigger picture. And slowly it gets to be noticed by the industry, it gets to be noticed by the regulators. Uh, so we will see much, much more impact of, of geospatial technology, of Earth observation, and then AI, because this data needs to be somehow you know, analyzed and, and crun crunched at, at scale. So this is the beginning of a, of a bigger trend and a bigger revolution that we see on the market. Wow. 
Do you see any more drivers or obstacles concerning this topic? I think the whole topic about data ethics is going to be a big challenge, especially here in Europe and in North America. That's one of the key challenges, I think, especially also coming from a big corporate perspective. But the possibilities are very limitless. That's what fascinates me about the topic, you know, bringing geospatial and AI together. It's going to be huge. So what will be the aim of the panel that you are presenting here today? What's the aim for people taking, um, play, taking part there and what will they take from it? The, the main motivation for this panel was to start a conversation together with our audience to understand what motivates them about AI, what challenges them about AI and Earth observation. And that's why we have a very diverse panelist as well. Okay. Um, so the key message for me would be that we start a conversation and understand the trends, the possibilities, and also the challenges that we face as we move forward. Okay. So these were the, the panel about um, AI and Earth observation. What kind of other trends or technology um, novelties do you see here or figure out at Intergeo? Because this is the trade show for innovations, for present new presentations. And uh, yeah, what do you think are some highlights you would like to mention or you would like to see or find here? You know, so this is just the beginning, right? But, uh, you know, th there are already a couple of things that I've noticed wandering around for, you know, for the past uh, hour or so. So there is a lot of drones, right? There is a lot of air observation uh, uh, vendors. So you know, we can see that this data capturing uh, 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 and analytics you know, topic uh, is probably some of the, the, the main theme that is you know, present here across different booths and different, different vendors. And you know, what, what I really uh, expect is that we will have a lot of meaningful discussions uh, here about the uptake and you know, adoption of those data that you know, are available but uh, the, the industry just slowly starts to realize how to benefit out of uh, you know, all of those technologies and all of these possibilities. What do you think? What we are from, from my perspective, I mean, of course, I'm a GPS engineer. So for what I find fascinating is how much precision technologies are taking over. There is a lot of equipment out there for measuring the world. And I think more importantly, it's going to all feed into a digital twin so automation, digital twin, that's the key, and you see a lot of it. Drones, sure, satellites, sure, there are a lot of data sources, but at the end, I think digital twins is going to be the future. Okay. So, so everyone will find something for himself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and read it on geo-awesomeness <laughs> later on. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so what are you mostly looking forward? Is it connecting, meeting people, uh, networking, see friends from, from uh, the, um, uh, what you studied? You want to take it first? Uh, you know, so, so for me, I think this is sick for seventh time when I'm, uh, when I'm here. And you know, I just love the vibe. I just you know, love the crowd. I just love, love to you know, geek out with different, different people uh, and, and discuss and you know, connect, learn new things. So you know, just wandering around here, around all of those you know, booths, meeting, uh, networking, you know, exchanging contacts, views, ideas, I, I, I just love the vibe here. For me, it's all about um, getting to know new technologies and, of course, meeting the colleagues and friends from the geospatial industry. It's nice to see you, by the way, in person for the first time after Thank several you. years. <laughs> so, yeah, Thank you. new technologies and people. Wow, that's great. So, let's start the adventure and discover here the exhibition halls together. Thanks for joining us here at Intergeo TV Thanks, and enjoy the show. Thank you. Thank you.